Here is the letter Tzadei. Tzadei. The letter Tzadei is also a tall one. One continuous flow, a tall one, above the lines. Tzadei. Tz, tz, tzadei. The letter Tzadei also, as other letters that we have studied, the Kaf and the Mem, the Nun and the Pei, it has a final, which means when the letter appears at the end of the word, you write it a bit differently. We begin like Lamed, but we stay up in the sky. One continuous flow, like Lamed, go back and back again. Look, one continuous flow, Lamed, one, two, but one continuous flow. Again, a tall one like Lamed, go back and come back home. The letter Tzadei is the last letter that we have studied in Hebrew that has a final, the last letter. According to its order, it's Kaf, Mem, Nun, Pei, and Tzadei. Tzadei is the last one. Now, we know many other words to write. The word Aitz. 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 You tell me how to write it down. I say Ah. Uh. Ah, 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 ein, great, ein, eitz, tz, 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 at the end of the word, so we write the final, eitz, eitz, and the meaning of the word eitz is a tree, eitz, eitz. Here is the letter Kof. Kof. The letter Kof you write in two parts. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Half a circle and a line. Half a circle and a line. Kof. 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 You pronounce it K. We have studied already a letter which you pronounce K. That was kaf. And here we have kof. So be careful. Both of them you pronounce k. If you remember, the kaf, sometimes you pronounce ch. But kof, you always pronounce k. So kof. Now you know many, many words that you can write already. So the word that you can write with kof is kam. Come. You know how to write it. I say come. K -k. I tell you, you write it with cough. Come. So the first one is cough. Mm. Mem, right. It's the last letter of the word. Come. Final mem. Very good. Come. Come means get up. Come. Come. Here is the letter Reish, Reish, as if you put water in your mouth and you say and it's very easy to write it. It's half a circle in between the lines, Reish, 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 here is a word that you can write very, very easily with the letter that you have known already. The word is rak. Rak. So the first letter is r. Reish, great. Rak. K. K. Kof. Rak. Rak means only. Rak. And here is another one that you know how to write down. Marak, marak. You hear m, m, m. You write mem, great, mem. Marak, marak. This is really easy. Marak means soup. So probably, if we go now to eat dinner and you say, mm, I want only soup. 
I don't want meat. I don't want a dessert. Only soup. So in Hebrew, you'll say it, rak marak. Here is the letter shin. Shin. The letter shin you write in one continuous flow in between the lines. Shh, shh, shh. If you want people to be quiet, you say shh. As if you wrote the letter shin. The letter shin, sometimes you write it with a dot on the right hand side. Then it's shin, and you pronounce it, shh. But sometimes you write a dot on the left-hand side, and then you pronounce it, s, and you call it sin. This is shin, and this is sin. You write it the same, only the dot is either on the right-hand side, and then you pronounce it shin, or on the left-hand side, then you pronounce it sin. So, sh, shin, s, sin, sh, shin, s, sin. A word that I really like is the word shar, shar. You know how to write it. Sh, shin, rrr. You know it already, the reish, shar. And it means sing. In a minute, we are going to finish studying the Hebrew alphabet, then we can sing. Be careful. The letter Shin, you write it like that, from right to left. It's not the letter E in English. Not at all. It's Shin. And here we are at the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Tav. Tav. You write it in two parts in between the lines. Half a circle, two. Half a circle, two. Half a circle, two. Half a circle, two. Tav. Tav. T. 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 Be careful. The letter het, you write like that. Het. And the letter taf, you write like that. And now, that we know all the Hebrew alphabet, we can write all the words in the world in Hebrew. For example, Tamar. Tamar. You know how to write it. I say Ta, 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 you write Taf. Very good. Mm, mm. In the middle of the word, Mem. Very good. And Rrr. Tamar. Rrr. Reish. Tamar is a tree, date, and it's also a name of a woman mentioned in the Bible, a biblical name, Tamar. Now that we know all the alphabet, we can really sing. We can sing all the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Daled, Hey, Vav, Zayin, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech Ayn Pei Tzadikof Reish Shin Sin Ve Tav Tav